we are looking at mid-sagittal pelvic sections of the female pelvis and the male pelvis and we're looking at reproductive organs as well as some urinary and digestive structures. This is the rectum for the female. This is the rectum for the male. This is the external anal sphincter here and here. This is the external anal sphincter for the female. So this is external anal sphincter for the female. This is the external anal sphincter for the male. We have the pubic bone. This is the pubic bone for the female. This is the pubic bone for the male. Pubic symphysis is right here for the female. Pubic symphysis is right here for the male. Pubic symphysis is fibrocartilage and it's going to be between the pubic bones. Pubic symphysis and pubic symphysis. We have the urethra. The urethra is going to be where urine is going to exit. Here is the bladder right here for the female. Here is the urethra for the male. Here is the urinary bladder. Here is the urethra right here. And we can see that the urethra is going through the prostate gland and it's called the prosthetic urethra when it goes through the prostate gland. So there's your urethra here. And here is the urethra here for the female. So I've already mentioned the bladder, the urinary bladder right here. And right here for the male. We have the ureter. So the ureter is going to come down from the kidney. So here's the kidney right here, part of it. And then here you can see the ureter going down right through here. It's curving around these two vessels here. The um, iliacs, the, the iliac artery, common iliac artery and vein. You'll see it's curving down right through here. So there's your right ureter. And here is your right ureter for the male. And we see it's pretty much doing the same thing. These two vessels are the common iliac artery and vein and see what's going into the bladder. Do not get ureter and urethra confused. So this is the urethra. This is the ureter for the female. This is the ureter for the male. Okay. We have the clitoris for the female. So let me show you the clitoris for the female. So here is the clitoris right here. Here's your clitoris. You take this off here and you can pretty much see the clitoris right here. Here's your pubic symphysis. We have the vagina. So here's the vagina right here. Here is the urethra. So the vagina would be 
more posterior to the urethra. Here's the vagina here for the female. And right here would be the cervix, right here. The cervix is going to be like a neck region that's between the vagina and the uterus. This structure right here is the uterus. So this would be the endometrium. This part right here would be the myometrium, and that would be the perimetrium. Those are, those are not on there, but I just wanted to point those out to you. We have the fallopian tube or uterine tube. Let me show you on this one right here. It's easier to see. So, forgot to show you this here. So, we have the pubic bone here. We have the bladder right here, the outside part. This is the left ureter coming into the bladder. And on the male, let me show you that as well. So here is the left ureter coming into the bladder. So here is the bladder, urinary bladder. This is the outside part of the vagina. And this is the rectum right here. External anal sphincter here and here. What's next? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the uh, fallopian tube. So, right here, this structure right here is the ovary. And this structure here is the fallopian tube right here. And then you can see the same thing on the right side. So here is your fallopian tube right here, which is going to connect to the uterus so fallopian tube right here this is your ovary right here and then we have the ovarian vessels this would be the ovarian artery right here the the red one here is sort of dyed pink now but uh, right here uh, this is the ovarian artery and these are the ovarian veins here and this is the ovary produces the gamete um, produces the oocyte gametes as well as the hormones progesterone and estrogen right here is the round ligament here here's your round ligament right here or hunter's ligament right here and then we have the you see this right here hopefully you can uh, this is the ligament of the ovary here right next to your fallopian tube or uterine tube so this is the ligament of ovary there's a broad ligament which actually is going to include all of this. And you'll see it with the dissection when we get to that. I think we're finished with the female. Uh, let's move on to the male. Uh, so let's look at the prostate gland. So here is the outside part here. And I forgot to show you. So here is the prostate gland here. And this is the inside part of the prostate gland here. And then we see the um, next thing here, uh, which would be the seminal vesicle, or seminal gland right here. So prostate gland, and then this structure right here is the seminal gland or seminal vesicle. There's two of them. So, seminal vesicles and prostate gland. And the urethra runs right through the prostate gland. Now, if you think about the um, volume of the ejaculate, 
the secretions of the seminal glands as well as the prostate makes up a huge volume of the ejaculate or the semen. We have the vast deferens right here. Uh, so this is the vast deferens here. This tube, it curves around. And that's a homologous structure to the um, fallopian tube or uterine tube for the female. So this is the vast deferens here. So the vast deferens is going to go from the uh, tail of the epididymis all the way up into the uh, pelvic cavity and then it's going to go into the um, prostate gland and then out the urethra. Okay. So we have this tube right here called the vas deferens or ductus deferens and then the seminal vesicle right here and these are going to go up into the prostate uh, you can see this structure right here is coming in as well that's coming from the seminal vesicle and then going to go via this um, prosthetic urethra into this part of the urethra here and out. And what's next? We have the, te the testicle right here. So the testicle is right here, produces the sperm as well as testosterone. This again is the epididymis. This structure here, this muscle, is the um, cremaster muscle. Cremaster muscle here. And this shows you the inside of the epididymis right here. So here's your head and tail region. And what's next? Oh yes, we have the vessels. Um, yeah, this is a better one to look at. So right here we have the testicular artery and testicular vein. Testicular artery and testicular vein. And here is the vast deference. Now, there is a structure called the spermatic cord which is going to hold all these in place here. And there's a canal uh, called the inguinal canal where they go through and go into the um, uh, pelvic cavity as we see here. So this is the testicular artery and vein and then we have the penis. Pretty obvious that this is the penis right here. So this is the penis and then we have the glands of penis right here and then we have the foreskin now this is the foreskin uncircumcised penis right here on this side and this is a circumcised penis right here and here we have the erectile tissue this in gray is called the corpus cavernosum and this in red is called the corpus spongiosum and I think that's it